We are getting in the full swing of rodeo season, and of course, that comes with some delicious dishes. And Chef James from Del Frisco's Grill is here with a recipe you can whip up to bring the flavor of the rodeo home to your kitchen. Let's get started so we can start eating. <laughs> That's right. Well, I brought a couple dishes for you today, but the one we're going to assemble right here is a, a braised beef short rib. Oh. Uh, it's the same short rib we use as our uh, uh, beef stroganoff at the Del Frisco's that Grill. Um, we uh, sear it and uh, braise it for about four hours at about 300 degrees. It smells amazing. Uh, so what the final product is very, very tender. You can just kind of pull it apart wow. like so. Wait, so it makes for very, very falling. good little it sandwiches. It falls right apart. Yeah, that's... Oh my God! That's exactly delicious. how you want your barbecue. So all the work goes into the slow. cooking. Yep. Okay, and so you're breaking that, this apart. It's very, very simple to finish your sandwich. So you you put the love and the care into the protein. Ooh, the smell is just wafting. All right, all we're gonna do. I have a little uh, bourbon barbecue sauce here. We're gonna mix up mm. a little of that short rib. Bourbon. <laughs> delicious. Mixing that up. The bourbon right gives it that smoky, that that smokiness, right? That deep. Flavoring. Absolutely. It gives it a little complexity to yeah. your average barbecue sauce. So then we're going to just take a little of that, a little red onion confit. Mm. Confit. What is confit? So then we just cook the onions down with uh, a little like vinegar and pickle, uh, right? wine. Mm. And so in this case, I used uh, apple cider vinegar. I thought that'd go pretty well Ooh, with the barbecue sauce. That sounds delicious. Gives okay, so kick. chop that off and then some pickles. And then just a one pickle. So there's just a lot of different flavors that That's come together. That's all there is to it. In okay. Little sliders. Uh, I'm gonna make one. Feel free. Okay, so talk about how you made this this meat. Right. So low and slow is uh, the kind of the process when you're talking about stiffer meat. So these are like you know you pick your uh, cheaper cuts from the grocery store and you uh, can braise them, you can cook them in crock pots, things like that. Yeah. Uh, for these, we just uh, make a nice, basically a thick broth with vegetables and beef stock, mm -hmm. and uh, we, you want to get a nice good sear on the pan to give it some caramelizations and some flavor, mm -hmm. and then uh, cook it about 300 degrees. Make sure they're submerged in that liquid so they don't. Uh, uh, dry out whatsoever. The parts mm. would dry out. That's right. And folks can try this at home. Easily. This is not easily. You can pick up this. So hard. Store. I my husband makes um, ribs and he cooks these, you know, in our crock pot. And at first I, I was like, how do you do it? How it's not that hard, and it's not something to be afraid of either. You not can at all. It. And there's a what's nice is a big margin of error, so mm -hmm. you can let this go an extra hour. It's really not going to hurt it's gonna it be, so bad. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's so that's good. So if you happen now. to forget about it for any reason, you're you're still <laughs> forget going. about it for all an that hour. That liquid will protect it. So <laughs> what about these little these little poppers right here? All right. So I had a, a little take on jalapeno poppers here. So instead of frying them, we just roasted them. Mm. Uh, slightly healthier, I guess you might say. Uh, just a different take on it. And we okay. stuff that with uh, cream cheese, cheddar cheese, and bacon, and wanna, top it with um, some crema. Pass one over. That. Nope, nope. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'll just eat this, <laughs> which ain't too bad. Mm. So I called these armadillo eggs, and you two made fun of me. But I'm pretty sure they're called armadillo eggs at like Texans tailgating and all mm -hmm. this. I'm so gonna have to take your tweet me if I'm wrong. Let's but. talk about the burgers really quick. Oh my God, this is hot. By the way, spicy. It's a good kick. Really? Nice and fresh. The burgers. All right. What's in them? What's in them? All right. So this is actually just a, a take on our uh, chili cheeseburger we have at the Del Frisco's Grill, which is uh, two brisket chuck blend patties, uh, pepper jack cheese, green chilies, and uh, in this case, I've added bacon, uh, our tobacco onions, mm. uh, which are just little fried onion strings, and. Uh, a little bit of barbecue sauce, oh so gosh. it gets a little bit more height, a little bit more flavor. It's delicious. There is some flavor in these, and I'm sure there is even more in the big burgers. Thank you so much oh, for coming you. out here and joining us. We're going to eat up all this food. You can find our information and replay of this interview at clicktohouston.com. It'll be posted under our video tab on our homepage after the show. We'll